Hello CT students. In this tutorial, we will look at this particular pseudocode and what it does. This is for a procedure called count vowels and consonants. And this procedure takes a parameter x which is a card. And this card has such attributes as letter count and the word and such. So let us take an example here for seeing what this procedure does. So here we have a card with the word reluctant and this card is passed as the parameter x. Now in the procedure we are initializing a variable i is equal to 1 v count is 0, c count is 0. These are two variables which are being initialized to 0. Uh, clearly, v count is supposed to stand for vowel count and c count is supposed to stand for consonant count. Now, we have a while loop here with the condition that i is lesser than or equal to x dot letter count. So, i has been declared to be 1 and here the letter count is 9. So, 1 is lesser than 9, therefore we go inside the while loop and here we have an if statement with the condition that the ith letter of x dot word is a vowel. Now, the ith letter here in this case i is 1, so r is the ith letter and it is not a vowel, so we don't perform the code inside this if statement. Instead, we go to what is coming after, which is an else statement. So, since this statement is not true, we go into this line of code now and we increment c count to 1. Now, we are out of this else block and we are incrementing i to i plus 1. So, i is now 2. And then we go back to the while condition. Is i lesser than or equal to x dot letter count? Yes, 2 is lesser than 9. So we go inside again. And now if we check for the ith letter of x dot word being a vowel. So here the ith letter is e, is a second letter, and it is a vowel. So we basically now increment v count. The vowel count is incremented by 1, giving us 1 vowel and one consonant so far. Since we entered this if block, we don't go into the else block and we now increment i to 3. Again, 3 is lesser than 9. Therefore, look if the third letter of x dot word is a vowel and the third letter is a consonant, it's not a vowel. So, we go into the else block and we increment c count to and now increment i to 4 and go back to the while loop 4 is lesser than 9 so enter the while loop and we check if the fourth letter of the word reluctant is a vowel it is u is a vowel therefore we increment v count and v count now becomes 2 we have seen two vowels and two consonants so far so we don't get into the else block because we are already gone into the if block. We increment i to 5. And then go back to the while condition. 5 is less than 9. Therefore, go inside and check if the fifth letter of the word reluctant is a vowel. It is not. So we go to the else block where we increment c count to and then we come out of this else block and we increment i to 6. Again, go back to the while condition. 6 is lesser than 9. Now check if the sixth letter of x dot word is a vowel. The sixth letter is not a vowel, it's t. So therefore, we go into the else block and here we increment the consonant count to 
4. And we come out of it and we now increment i to 7. And then we check the while condition again. 7 is less than 9. So go inside and we check the if condition again. Is the seventh letter of x dot word a vowel? Yes, a is a vowel. Therefore, we increment v count and that gives us three vowels and four consonants so far. We don't do anything in the else block because we have already gone into the if block. Now we increment i to 8 and we check if 8 is less than 9, it is. So we go inside and if the eighth letter is a vowel, the eighth letter is not a vowel, it's n. So we go into the else block and we increment c count to 5. And then we get out and here we increment i to 9. And then 9 is less than or equal to 9. Therefore, we go inside again and we check if the ninth letter of x dot word is a vowel. It is not, it's t. So we basically increment the consonant count again. And that gives us six consonants so far and three vowels. And then we come out and we increment i to 10. Then when we check this condition, this fails now because 10 is not lesser than or equal to 9. So we are out of this while loop altogether. And then the procedure returns v count and c count, which in this case would be 3 and 6 respectively. So this procedure returns the count of vowels and the count of consonants. And then we end the procedure. Thank you.